So as excited as I am to go on this trip, I think the thing that's the hardest for me is knowing that I won't get to see this little nug <laughs> for five whole days. Tabor, what, how, do you, how do you feel about that? Kind of late it's like 9:30 p.m. I'm just getting here and I'm getting the room tour and I was told that I needed to record my face yes when I see the room so here you go <laughs> all right oh my god <laughs> <laughs> what? You're so ready to be professional oh and you start laughing. I know, I tried to be so... <laughs> what? This is so... <laughs> you guys, just like... You guys. I'm never leaving. <laughs> Sorry, I live here now. This is where I live. So it's like seven in the morning. I just got done working out. I um, we went to bed really late, but I'm totally like my body clock is just set to wake up early because I've been waking up and working out every day. Um, but it's totally worth it because check out this view that I have. super super fancy stuff and we left this morning to go snowboarding totally in a hurry my room was like honestly disheveled like stuff everywhere things on the ground can I can I show you guys what my room looks like getting back from the mountain right now okay so so totally organized bed totally made yeah this view right oh my god it's so pretty Okay, and then this is where the real dishevelment was, was over in this room. Hey, that's me, still in all my snowboard stuff. Like they hung up all my stuff. They even put my shoes nice and neat. Good morning, it is uh, day, day two here. Um, it's like six in the morning. <laughs> uh, we are going cat skiing today near Grand Targhee. Um, so we're literally just getting up and going. <laughs> Brain not working.
<laughs> Alright, I know that when I first got here I gave you guys a little bit of a like reaction video But I have no idea. I was like so stunned. I don't even know what I showed you So I'm gonna give you guys like the full official grand tour of this room if I'm being honest we were outside doing activities or like eating um, basically the whole time. So I didn't spend a whole lot of time in this room, but it is beautiful. So we'll just start with like what you see when you come in the door. So if we come over this way, we have the bedroom area, really nice little private patio, an amazing view, personal fireplace. Um, my bed over there. I just got done doing a little work sitting in bed so you can see my laptop. And then if we were to go over to the right, hey, what up guys? Um, this is like the closet bathroom area. So I have officially packed up all of my bags. Um, I came here with this board bag and then um, Oakley, since they gave us um, so much gear, they gave us a cool bag to bring everything home in. Uh, I have my jacket um, to cruise home with. And then I didn't actually use any of these closet spaces, but full closet, all the things that you might need. It came with two sinks, uh, but it was just me in here. So I had plenty of room to like explode all of my stuff everywhere. I did get a chance to take a bath, which was amazing. I did that yesterday after cat skiing. It was dark, so I didn't have this view while I was doing it, but I turned the candle on, had a little candlelight um, bath. And if you look, the right, this is where the bathroom area is, and you know, one of the better views <laughs> I've ever had going to the bathroom. And we'll go over here. This is the shower. Honestly, probably the best shower I've ever taken. I have these clothes from at night, but again, really awesome view. All right, it's crazy to say it, but I am officially leaving Jackson Hole. I just got finished packing and everything like that and just getting ready to walk out the door. So, you know, normally in these videos, I like to take the end to share some sort of message or really talk to you guys about something that I'm working on. And I definitely, that's gonna be the theme of my, <laughs> my channel going, uh, going forward because that's really what I'm passionate about. But I know that posting a video like this, there's a lot of people that want to know and want to know a little bit more about what it's like um, being a social media influencer. I still feel really strange saying that. Um, I don't know if that, that exact terminology rings true for me, but regardless, I know people have a lot of questions about, you know, what it's like, how you can make a living doing this and everything like that. I feel like, you know, our generation really, really is kind of obsessed with this idea. And, you know, I'll give you some of the, the, the full truth, like the ins and outs. So basically some of the really amazing things is, you know, invitations like this. This trip was so incredible. Um, we went, you know, a full day of skiing on Jackson Hole and then cat skiing at Grand Targhee. I think I have some footage. You guys probably probably already watched it. I have to go through all of my um, content at this point, but um, you know, so that was amazing. Amazing food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day was like incredible. They put us up at this incredible place called the Amanjani, I think that's how you say it, Amangani, Amanjani, Amangani, I think it's Amangani. Anyways, the Amangani Resort here in Jackson Hole, which is like perched up on a hillside with these incredible views, this really beautiful pool that looks out of everything, like my shower, my toilet, and my bathtub, like look out, and I know you guys have seen the tour, so you see what it looks like. Um, this beautiful room, all to, my, all to myself, and you know, when I come back from the day, if I left anything on the floor unfolded, it's folded when I get back, so, that's incredible and it's definitely something uh a new experience like i've never been spoiled <laughs> quite to this degree so that is really cool and there are some incredible perks um, that come along with starting to grow your social media influence but i do think people um have a little bit of a misunderstanding and think you know oh my gosh you have you know eighty thousand followers you must be making all sorts of money and everything like that and what I'll say is you can. I mean, I know people with less followers than me making way more money than me on social media. And I know people with way more followers than me making literally nothing with their social media. So a lot of it is actually what you do with it and not just like, like having followers doesn't really do much. It's really what you do, like how you interact and connect with those people and, and how you take people, um, you know, offline. And there's a, a lot with the paid posts and everything like that. But here's, you know, for me personally, 
Um, I don't do a whole lot of paid posts because I'm really picky. I don't want to put anything out there that I don't, you know, I don't want to work with brands that I don't um, align with, that I don't stand behind. So, you know, I've probably passed up thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, like I, I'm not, personally, I don't really drink. And so when alcohol companies reach out to me, you know, those are one of the highest paying um, advertising posts you can get because those alcohol companies have tons of money for marketing. And I have to, you know, for my conscious, I turned them all away. Recently got reached out to by kind of like a fast food chain. And again, you know, my mission here is to spread health and wellness. And, you know, I feel like I don't want to taint that mission um, just to get a nice paycheck. So personally, I, I turned down a lot of, of paid advertising just so that I can really stay in alignment and integrity with what I want to offer. Um, <clears throat> what else? You know, I think that the main thing when it comes to social media and growing your influence, whatever it might be, is just really checking in with yourself and making sure that you're happy and you're enjoying the journey. I've seen so many people get excited and obsessed with like growing their social media influence and their following, and then it's not truly bringing them joy. They're stressing out if they have a week where nobody, you know, their, their followers go down or they don't get as good of engagement. And, you know, I've been through that journey, like where I would get really bummed with all of a sudden my engagement tanked or like, you know, lost a bunch of followers or whatever it might be. And now that I've been doing this for, you know, two, three years, uh, at least on Instagram, I know I'm, I'm new here on YouTube. I feel like I've seen it. I've seen these crazy upswings where growing like crazy and I've seen these downswings and I've seen this kind of like, you know, in and out. And to me, what I think the biggest thing I've learned is not getting attached to the outcome. Um, I, I think the way that I do social media now is I just try to share from my heart. I share things that I love doing and I try to speak from my heart and if it resonates with people, amazing. And that's all I could ask for. Um, but I think it's important, you know, for me to just continue to stay true to myself and, and share things that are lighting me up inside. And you know, if that in turn turns into something where, you know, it doesn't work with my social media and people don't love it, you know, in the end, that's okay. So I think, you know, my best advice for any of you guys out there who are growing your social media or looking to grow it is what you have control over is what you put out in the world. You don't have control over what comes back, you know? And I think that if we put things out with a good heart, we're usually pretty happy about the things that come back, but in the end, we don't have control of the outcome. There's a saying in yoga, uh, I might have done it in another video, but I love it. It's called Abhyasa Vairagya. And what it means is like a wholehearted dedication to something without attachment to the outcome. So that's really how you have to look at social media. Like give it your all, give it your heart, pour your heart into whatever you're putting out there. Um, but do it just for the sake of putting it out there, for sharing what's on your mind, for helping other people and connecting with other people and let the universe sort out what happens. Um, because like I said, we don't have control over how many people like a post or how many people follow, but we do have control over what we put out into the world. And I think that we have the capacity to really use social media for good as long as we're we're sharing from a space of good intentions so um, thanks so much for those of you guys tuning in I'm just so excited to be sharing a little bit more on this YouTube it feels really good to get to connect with you guys a little bit more than just on Instagram so thank you for being here and if you liked this video please be sure to hit um, the like button and subscribe to my channel um, it really helps me especially as we get this channel off the ground have an amazing week guys I'll talk to you soon